this video, I want to look at a SQL Alchemy database, a very simple one, a single table. And it's just going to be sort of one step above Hello World. And so here we go. We are importing from SQL Alchemy, the create engine. And that's going to be allow us to sort of make, make the database. Um, we're using SQLite. And uh, the last time we had something like this, this line three, where it was an in-memory database that sort of was forgotten when we were done. But now we're going to make an actual database that will sort of hang around uh, called planet.db. We're not going to, we're going to query that database, but we're not going to directly look at that database because that requires an additional installation into the Visual Studio Code environment. So we'll do that uh, another time. Um, we are establishing the, the sort of base code from which we will extend and make our own class, which will then will become uh, connect to and make the database table. And I am going to have uh, this data is going to be on planets. I'm going to have uh, planets. I'm going to have uh, the name of the planet, uh, and I'm going to have the distance of the planet and the period of the planet. And so I need column means I'm going to have some kind of uh, column or property. Um, I'm going to have an ID, which is going to be an integer. I'm going to have a string. That's the name of the planet. And I'm going to have some floats, the, the distance and the period. Okay. I am making a class extending the base class, and my per particular class is going to be called planet. I'm establishing a name uh, of the table that I make. Again, there's only going to be one table in this thing, but when I make the table, I'm going to I'm explicitly naming it planets. Okay. I'm going to have an ID. It's a field. It's a column. That is an integer and will be the primary key. I'm going to have another field, another prop column, another property that is going to be a, a, a type string, which will be the name, uh, a float, which will be the distance of the planet from the sun. One of the distances, they're short, the, the shortest distance, the longest distance, because they're ellipses, but some distance anyway. And the period, how long it takes to go around. Um, we set up the the metadata associated with the, the database, and in this case, just the database table. Um, and then we are establishing a session so that we can connect to this database and put things in it and get things out of it. My database is going to come from a file. So I'm working in a, eventually I'm going to work with both Flask and SQL algorithms. So I, I'm in a very sort of Flask-like uh, environment set up here. So I have a folder called static, and in there I have a subdirectory called data, and that's where in a Flask situation where I would tend to put data inside, inside the static folder, and in there I have this uh, Kepler CSV, and we see here it's just the name of the planets and the two other properties, and uh, they are indeed uh, floats, and uh, what do we want to say? Uh, there is no header. So when, when we're parsing the file, it will be important that, that there are no headers in this. Okay. If there, if there were headers, we would just sort of like skip that line, but we won't have that code to skip a line because there is no line skip. Okay. So this is just working with the OS module, bringing that in to make sure that the code knows where it's located. So the file, this under file, underscore, underscore file, that refers to this particular file that I'm working and I'm finding out its folder and setting that as the, the working directory. And then from where that file is, uh, I'm in a, I'm in a static I'm in data, and then I have Kepler CSV. So, and I'm just doing my own. You could bring in a, a CSV module 
or um, people seem to love Panda, uh, but I'm just uh, old fashioned and read it myself. So I'm going to read through the file line by line. I'm going to strip off any uh, extra white space. Um, I'm going to sort of strip off any space that in, and have an if. So I'll, if I have blank lines, I think I did have a blank line at the bottom. That's not going to be a problem. I'm going to strip off any stuff at the, any blank stuff on the, on the line itself and split it on a comma. And that's going to get me a list with uh, three things we saw was in each one. And then I'm going to establish a planet Planet was the name of my class up here. And the ID is an integer and the primary key, so I don't have to set it. It will auto increment. So I'm going to establish that the name was x0, the period was x1, uh, and I'm casting it as a float because when I split, everything is assumed to be a string, but this property was a float, so cast it as a float. And the same for the distance, cast that as a float x0, x1, x2. Use the session to add this. I am incrementing i. I have no idea why. I don't do anything with this i. If I were um, setting the uh, id myself, then I might be using this i. But and then I'd probably increment it. If I'm starting at 0, I'd probably increment it uh, before because I probably want to start at one. Like that's what the auto increment is going to do. And then finally, uh, commit. Now I could commit in the loop and commit more often, but I'm just deciding to commit when I have all, all my nine planets, I'm including Pluto. I am using the session. I use the session to add things, to insert. Now I'm using the session to query. Again, planet is the one and only table in this database. So planet is strictly speaking, not the table, but the class that connects to the table. Um, but I'm querying that table that corresponds to planet and SQL alchemy is going to figure out all the, the SQL code for me. It will do the select star. And uh, we are getting all of the records. So this is going to be, results is then going to be a a list of records, sort of a list of dictionaries where the keys are the, the properties, uh, more or less. Um, and so then I'm going to have a for loop over that list where item is then going to be uh, a record with these uh, various properties. And so it has an ID and a name and a period and a distance, and I am printing those out. So let's run it. So, so over here in my area, I don't see anything called database.db or the planets.db because th this database has not been made. This code will make it. And there are there's the result of querying the planets. And there is planet.db, the database made. Um, now, I'm doing no testing for uniqueness or anything like that. So if I ran this thing again, I think I would get a, another set of planets uh, with, the, with all the same names, except the IDs would be different. So, so it's not, um, I haven't done all the work that could be done on this. But again, it's just this beyond, slightly beyond hello world example that I wanted to share with you. Thanks for your attention.